Like I said I would when I reviewed the Resistance A-Wing, which by the way is the only non-Imperial era A-Wing we've got from LEGO. We've got a total of eight of them and we'll be looking at them in just a second. I've modified that Resistance A-Wing into, well, a Rebellion A-Wing, specifically meant to be around the time of Return of the Jedi. And I've actually got a named pilot in the cockpit, which I didn't realize until I was researching the set. But today I'm gonna to take you through all the upgrades I've made to it. If you want to know more details about the minifigure scout that I'm using, I do go over it a bit more in the review. So definitely check that out for the set because I have shrunk the size to match the original trilogy over the increased size that we see them in the sequels. And on top of that, not only have I kept the play features of the flick fire missiles, I've also added a hidden compartment heavily inspired by the pirate snub fighter. So without further ado, let's take a closer look. To go alongside my A-Wing mock, I have a total of six custom minifigures. Now I know what you're thinking, Lego would never give us six minifigures in a set this small, but lucky for you, I'm not Lego. First up, we need a pilot for our A-Wing. So we have here what seems to be just a regular A-Wing pilot until you realize this is actually Jake Farrell, who not only has his own backstory, he used to be a flight instructor for the Galactic Empire before he retired, eventually joining the Alliance to restore the Republic. And he flew as Gold Four in the Battle of Endor in Return of the Jedi, which is pretty cool that LEGO have given us a minifigure that's got very little screen time and that no one would know the name of. But this minifigure came in a four plus set and a play set. We will look at all the different sets of A-Wings in a minute. Just in case the A-Wing breaks down, we also need some sort of technician or engineer, which I've actually used the torso and legs from the Bespin Luke Skywalker, as the official parts for this minifigure can be quite expensive. I'm also bringing back my custom Lando from Return of the Jedi when he flies alongside nine numb and this blaster for lando i have taken from an a-wing set so you'll see that again in a minute but now that we've got nine numb as an anniversary minifigure it's safe to say lego just aren't going to give us lando in hands outfit so i've taken it into my own hands and i think this is a great minifigure we get enough han solos you can definitely mock one out if you have a face for Lando. And if Lego was to release this set, I think they were the three minifigures that they'd probably put in, but it's been a long time. In fact, I think we've only ever got one Mon Mothma minifigure. So I would like to see another. In the meantime, you can always give Anakin's Clone Wars hair. This is actually known by Lego as the Anakin wig, which I think is really cool, to the Yavin Ceremony layout, which I think does work very well. And on top of this, we've got Admiral Akbar, who again, we haven't seen a minifigure for in years. I guess we've got the updated head from Jedi Bob Starfighter they could use for this minifigure as well, but I'd just like to see another Akbar minifigure. And most recently in the Ghost, we got an updated torso and legs so we could make a custom Crix Medine, which longtime viewers will have seen when I reviewed the Ghost, as this is the exact same minifigure, Luke Skywalker's head and Luke Skywalker's hair, and that makes a really nice Crix Medine, just anything but the Kenobi face. So now we have our minifigures. What's so special about this version of the A-Wing? Well, you might notice just by looking at the video, but it is a bit shorter than the one we reviewed a couple of days ago, and I have switched out a few of the pieces Again, the cockpit is a dark brown translucent piece rather than the clear because I think it looks a bit better having that smoky cockpit like you see in the original trilogy movies. And I've replaced all of the green tiles and plates with red to match up to the more popular style which you'll see in the UCS A-Wing. Now, like I said, there have been a few different sets of A-Wings across the years. And the last time we saw one, excluding the four plus set, in 2019 was all the way back in 2017 to July of 2018. And this trend of A-Wings retiring after about a year and a half carries across through almost every single A-Wing LEGO have ever released. 
So clearly they don't think it's a popular set. In 2016, we did get this paired with a Vader's Advanced TIE Fighter, which we'll take a look at my customs for both of these towards the end of this video. But I did think this got released twice. The other set I was thinking of is this Microfighter A-Wing with TIE Silencer from the sequels. I think the best set we've got with an A-Wing is the Home One Mon Calamari Star Cruiser. And I so want to see this set remade today. We could definitely get the six minifigures I've shown you with this set. And I think the build in general is quite impressive. So perhaps I'll have to build this for my own display. As well as owning the Resistance A-Wing, which you can see I haven't used many of the stickers of. I did also get that four plus set, mainly for the pilot as I'd missed out on the previous A-Wing. And it came with these printed pieces, which would work amazingly on the side of this A-Wing. You can see there is a strip that is clear on this side and a sticker on the other. But the only problem is these exact pieces don't fit. So this is going to be the first time I am making an argument with stickers. So get your cameras ready, record this, because it's definitely gonna bite me in the bum later on. But I would have loved to have got stickers in this four plus set. It's a four plus set, they're always gonna be prints. But if these were stickers, we would have been able to apply them to the A-Wing and just get that extra little bit of detail. That red triangle is really what I'm after onto this A-Wing. I don't think we could get it looking any better. But that being said, the three stickers that I have taken from the Resistance A-Wing are on the bottom fin, both left and right sides. And then I've kept the sticker on the right hand side of the A-Wing because it does look good, though you can remove it and it looks just as good. Plain. Instructions for this model will be up on Discord for Brick tier members. So consider joining the channel. If you do it right now, you also get a custom 3D printed tile with your username on. The two flick fire missiles at the front of the A-Wing do work the exact same as the original set. And unlike the original set, I'm actually gonna be able to find them pretty easy, but there is that hidden compartment. Before I reveal exactly where the hidden compartment is, I want you to take a guess. Put your finger or point towards a segment of the A-Wing on your screen that you think the hidden compartment is, and I'll reveal it in three, two, one. If anyone pointed towards the front, I did try to put a hidden compartment there, but it's not. It's not quite in the cockpit, which is still massive, by the way. I haven't changed that from the original set, but there's definitely a few things you can add. But if we grab the backboard here, and pop it out. We've got a hidden compartment two by three that stores an extra blaster and you can even take the pistol from the A-Wing pilot and fit that in there as well. You could probably even get another blaster in the back. So it's a very handy slot and again you just pop this back straight on. It's being held in by one stud on either side so that the connection's not too strong and then you close back down the cockpit. You could take it off without moving the cockpit, but it just gives you more room to grab the piece. So I'm really a massive fan of these hidden compartments. I think this might actually replace my previous favorite A-Wing, which is this micro build from the Advent Calendar because it's really cool. And like the Advent Calendar, it does have that chip at the front, which is created using slopes. And if you do want to have a go at making your A-Wing, perhaps you own the Rebels A-Wing or the Resistance A-Wing, I want to give this a go yourself without purchasing the instructions. The main thing I did to get it to look like it was from Return of the Jedi is recolored the engines here red, except for the final tull, and then just made sure we had this red strip going down the middle. I think the gray of the Technic here does definitely add a bit of detail where otherwise it would just be flat and told off. Though the red piece does exist and again if you want to see how those flick fire missiles do work I've got a detailed description in the original sets review. Besides that everything has been kept the same. The back from about here backwards beside the red tiles and slopes is completely identical but the front of the ship has been reworked to get that same smooth underside with less studs length than we had with the original set. It's very swooshable and this will be staying on my display, I'm sure, for years to come. So keep an eye out in my new videos for this somewhere in the background and let me know what you think of it down in the comments. I know many of you were interested when I made Vader's Advanced TIE out of the new TIE Bomber set, which the set you can find for pretty cheap and the instructions you can find on Rubricable and channel members get them for free on the Discord, but it looks so good with the A-Wing. They're about the same length. Maybe the A-Wing's a little longer and Vader's ties a bit wider, but these are gonna look amazing together 
on my display. And I'm so happy I finally have a return of the Jedi A-Wing that isn't built using six pieces. The instructions for this A-Wing will also be put up on Discord for Brick Tier members. So check them out. Become a channel member if you do want to build my instructions because you have access to every single set of instructions I have ever made. And not to mention, you get that tile on the members board, which I think is really, really cool. But I'm happy with how the A-Wing turned out. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Do drop a like and subscribe if you did. Check out this video that YouTube recommends you watch after this one. And I'll also leave up Vader's TIE Fighter if you do want to check that out. And as always, may the bricks be with you always. Meow.